Hi guys, good day. I hope everyone is safe and happy and well rested with their loved ones during this time of the pandemic. Um, welcome to my channel, Cosmic Adventures. It is something na matagal ko nang prinano, pero since busy sa work and sa life, I never got the chance to start it. But since nagsimula yung pandemic, um, I guess lahat ng tao nagmeron time. Um, today, I'm offering you Cosmic Dreams wherein I'm going to talk about plants, um, give you tips and tricks based on my experience. Take note, I'm no botanist, I'm no sp specialist with plants, but I can share with you guys my experiences. Hope you enjoy. So today we're gonna be talking about my top 5 wishlist houseplants for 2020. Um, ito yung mga halaman na nagkameron ako ng idea or nakita ko during the year na, na sabi ko, uy parang ganda nito ah. Um, pero not necessarily bibilhin ko within the year. Siguro kahit pa isa isa. Kasi may kita nyo, medyo nagtaasan talaga yung prices ng mga halaman this 2020. Let's go! So starting off with number 5, we have Begonia Ferox. Um, to be honest, wala pa akong Begonia sa collection ko. I heard na medyo maselan sila and kailang ng humidity. But this one just looks so interesting to me. Um, it looks like a cross between an Atis and Atilas at the same time. Para siyang may spikes um, sa leaves niya and it just looks so cool. Um, yeah. Kaso parang I think wala pa siya sa Philippines so depending sa price I really have no idea how much it's going to cost. So number 4, we have Alocasia Cupria. Um, I do have an Alocasia Black Velvet pero based on research sabi nila medyo masilan din to. Again, high humidity, tapos medyo um, prone din siya sa spider mite. So, I think medyo hindi siya for beginners. Pero kung titingnan niyo siya, ang ganda. Kasi para siyang um, sa lagubang na medyo shiny. Tapos depende sa tama ng sikat ng araw or ng ilaw, nag-iiba talaga yung kulay niya. May time na para siyang bronze, may time na para siyang... Um, kulay lumot. So, very interesting. Number three is we have Anthurium Clarinervium. Katulad ng Begonias, wala pa rin akong Anthurium sa collection ko kasi medyo hirap ako sa humidity. Um, pero sabi nila, this one is different kasi medyo hardy siya, tas hindi siya maselan. And hindi ma ganun kadali mag-crispy yung leaves niya. Um, sobrang na-appreciate ko dito yung dark green color niya and then yung very pronounced na veining sa leaves niya. Um, hindi ganun kaganda yung bulaklak niya, pero you're buying it for the leaves. So, number two is we have Monstera Albo Borsigiana. Um, ito yung pinsan ni Monstera Deliciosa na climbing and mas maliit yung leaves or tinatawag rin na small form Albo Borsigiana. Um, it, ito last year pa to si Kat actually and last year ko pa siya gustong bilhin kaso nung nag canvas ako I saw na yung prices niya are ranging from 7,000 to 8,000 pesos back then sabi ko parang sobrang mahal naman and parang hindi ako willing mag spend ng ganun kalaking pera just for a plant pero fast forward to today, how I wish na binili ko na siya last year pa and baka sobrang laki na ng plant ko. Pero yeah, um, ang maganda dito is yung climbing nature niya. Mas gusto ko si Borsigiana kasi mas pataas yung, yung climbing niya. Hindi katulad ng Monstera na mag-take up talaga siya ng space sa, sa, sa room or sa house mo. Especially kung nakatira ka sa kondo, mas advisable and mas um, maganda, mas bagay sa space mo yung pataas ng porsidiana. Uh, maganda yung white leaves niya, yung combination ng white leaves and green and yung fenestrations niya. 
um, may isa pang version nito yung Aurea pero mas sikat itong Albo Borsigian as of the moment so ang ating top wishlist plant for 2020 ay si Philodendron Bilite Varigata meron akong Bilite sa collection ko now and nakakatuwa lang yung red stems niya red stems niya tapos yung mahabang shape ng leaves para siyang necktie uh, I should say na upon buying it uh, walang stress at all sa plant after ng shipping and uh, hindi siya maselan sa watering, sa sunlight and sa humidity so far and then we have this one kung titingnan mo yung leaves niya para siyang painting per leaf, isa siyang different frame from the other one may may part na onti lang yung variegation may next leaf na yung variegation niya is more on yellow meron naman ding variegation na combination of green and yellow which is very beautiful if you would ask me para siyang para siyang medyo camo camo military camo siya tapos we with each leaf uh, you really don't know what you're gonna get and yun nga lang unfortunately medyo mababa pa yung supply as of the moment and easily aabot ng 6 digits ang isang plant so maybe next year hopefully medyo huminaho na yung mga presyo at uh, wala na sa pandemic para maging affordable na yung mga plants na nasa list ko and hopefully makabili tayo ng isa Siyempre, babalitaan ko kayo and I'm gonna be posting a new video per week, hopefully. Um, please like and subscribe and comment on what you want to see next on my channel. Have a great day. Bye! Till next time.